Hey everybody, welcome back to Veteran Bassin, and today we're going to be talking about an old school lure, but it's still deadly out there. Stay tuned. Now before I get into it, let's get this YouTube stuff out of the way. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and comment on anything else you would like to see. Now with that out of the way, the spinnerbait. <laughs> An oldie but goldie, and it works still to this day. Um, what can you say about it? The darn thing just flat out catches fish. But what I'm going to do for you newbies out there again, for you beginners, is give you the setup and where to fish this so that you can catch more bass. So to be all honest with you, they come in a variety of sizes. As a matter of fact, I have my buzz bait and spinner bait box right here. And get a small one out for you. Uh, as a matter of fact, I get this one out too. Uh, so you can see that one. If you'll, if you'll be nice to me. If you would be nice to me. So, like I said, they come in a variety of sizes. All right. They come in a variety of sizes. This is actually sort of a mini A-Rig right here. You know, you have the one blade in the center and you have a bunch of smaller ones out back and you have your big meal here on the hook. It's a spinner bait, but it is more so you would think of this as a mini A-Rig. But, back to it. Now, this is the application that I like to use. You know what I'm saying? Some people use different. Now, depending on the situation. Now, hold on. Again, before I really jump into it. For you beginners out there, I'm going to give you an extra tip. You see the blaze here? Um, I know you can't really tell because of the lighting. But if you look, one is kind of golden. And one is, get my hand right, is a silver color. I do that because one, I could fish it in no matter what stained water. You know what I'm saying? What the water clarity is, whether it is stained, not real chocolate milk, because then I have to use a different application and a different st uh, spinnerbait altogether. But if it's a stained water to clear water, I'm good either way because the gold, the silver willow leaf here, yeah, silver willow leaf, it looked different from me in this light, but the silver willow leaf is more for the clear water, the gold is for the stain, you know what I'm saying? And it helps out in both applications. Now, I'm gonna go on a little tangent here before I finish this out. If you are fishing in muddy, the water look like straight chocolate milk, I wouldn't even use double willow leaf blades. And let me see here, do I have one? Yes, I do. You have these. Put this up here. These are Colorado blades. These are the Colorado blades. And they actually put off a little bit more vibration or thump, as we say, so that the fish can detect it a whole lot easier. They ride a little bit higher in the water because, you know what I'm saying, a little bit heavier, and it produces that thump for that, but it does ride up a little bit higher in the water column. But, also with that, I still have the um, silver and the gold coloration. That is just something that I do. I love that, that way. Matter of fact, I look for that so that, you know what I'm saying, I don't have to have, you know what I'm saying, so many spinner baits for a different application. You know, I stay with basically one color. Gold, some kind of, well, I'm sorry, some kind of chartreuse, or chartreuse and white, or strictly white. That's it. That's all you need when it comes to a spinner bait, honestly. And if you actually look at my colors, that's all I really have. White, white chartreuse, I even have some that got a little bit of blue in it, but you know, 
Now, for you new guys, let's continue on. Where do you throw this? Anywhere because it's virtually weedless. Anywhere. Anywhere you see, you can throw this through rock, I mean, you can throw this over rock piles, through brush, um, through over logs. You can throw this just about anywhere because it's basically weedless. Rod, reel, and line selection. Rod, reel, and line selection. Let's get into that. For your line, because you already have this, you don't really need to upgrade anything, but for your line, you wanna go with 12 pound fluorocarbon, 12 pound. You're gonna put that on a six four to uh, six four to four gear ratio reel. You can find that. I'm going to throw a name out here today. Abu Garcia, the Black Max reel. It is a workhorse. You can use that all day long. As a matter of fact, with this whole combo, you want a medium heavy combo. The Gar Abu Garcia Black Max is money for that. You have to ride the reel. You're good, you're golden. Now, the only thing about the Black Max reel, well, I can't say that because, you know, I had that reel for probably six, seven years before the guys started messing up on the rod. So, you know, I got my money's worth out of it. Um, time of year, or the best times of year. I like to throw this pretty much, and you should also, after it rains, after it rains. When it, matter of fact, not even after it rains, before it rains, during the rain, after the rain, because that rain brings down uh, new dirt and minerals and food and all that stuff in the water for the fish to eat. There you go. That's when you want to throw this. And as the water level rises up, you want to fish this shallow, dirt shallow. I mean, pretty much in a foot or so of water, if all possible, that's where you want to throw this, close to the bank, because that's where the bass are going to be at. Okay? So, with that being said, um, a little bit of a tangent, not really a tangent, but on a little side note, this here, that looks like a mini A-Rig, but it's still a spinnerbait, you want to throw this what is this computer telling me? Oh, it's about an update. You want to throw this pretty much in mostly clear water. And as a matter of fact, you could probably throw this this time of year also um, and slow roll this on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of little uh, minnows, however you want to call it, with one main hook, which it is like an Alabama rig, but it's not because in the state of Georgia, we can almost hooked myself <clears throat> but in the state of Georgia we could use five hooks so you know so for you beginners out there there's an application for the spinnerbait that you can use and uh remember you won't And remember, you won't. Hold on. There we go. We'll do it like this. And remember, you want white and gold. Well, white and chartreuse. I don't know why I'm saying gold. I'm thinking about the blaze. That's why. You want white and chartreuse. Main colors, either all white, white and chartreuse. Um, either tandem blades or the silver and gold 12 pound line to a seven foot to a seven foot three medium heavy rod you're golden so i hope you have learned something today don't forget to subscribe like and hit that notification bell and comment on anything else you would like to see better investing i hope to see you guys out there on the water hopefully before the spawn to be honest with you one